Good evening, everybody. Well, I can tell you firsthand, you already know this, but we are very, very in bold with 18 exclamation points. Very excited to present this concert for you. A lot of nerves up on the stage, but um, a lot of hard work too. I did a quick calculation, and you guys know how much practicing has been going on, um, either at home or at Breakfast Band or both. I did a quick calculation, and from when they got their instruments to today, which is about uh, eight weeks, they have probably put in about 40 to 50 hours of practice, even if they just come to Breakfast Band alone. That's a lot of practice time. So we are really, really, yes. And as we all know, hard work. Um, leads to success. So we are going to get rolling, but first we have a very important message that two of my right-hand students are going to present to you. So please listen carefully. Good evening. My name is Allison. And my name is Andrew. We are performing tonight. So silence that cell phone and don't take that call. Quiet that baby, take him out to the hall. Please remain quiet and please take your seat because your kid's talent is re really quite neat. We've been working for weeks now and we want you to know that the band and chorus have talent, so enjoy the show. And don't forget after we've performed and you've had fun, please support our program. If you can, just look for the donation drum. All right. I am the son of a pastor, so I'm going to preach really quickly. Guys, if you have family members on stage at any point. Um, my son is 20, my daughter is 17, my daughter is gonna be performing her last concert uh, in a few months, which oh, gets me right here. Um, and before you know it, you will be saying what I'm saying. I miss it, I would go back in a heartbeat, but enjoy it, enjoy it, because it goes by way too fast. So I will be quiet, and you came to hear them, so we're going to present the fifth grade band. We're going to play three songs for you. They have been working so hard and are so excited, and we hope you will enjoy every one of them. Here is the fifth grade band. We're going to begin with Good King Wenceslas. Next, we're going to present to you Jolly Old St. Nicholas, and you're going to hear two different lines being played at the same time. It's called harmony. You all, I'm sure, learned that in music class. But it can be tricky when you're a young musician because you're hearing two different things and trying to play what you're supposed to be focusing on. So uh, one of the skills that we've worked on, uh, other than other things like tonguing and good tone and good posture uh, and learning the rhythms and the notes and all those other things, is one of the things we're learning is how to listen to each other. And as a man who's been married for 24, almost 25 years, I have learned that listening is a very important skill. So we're beginning now to learn how to listen to each other and how to uh, play together and how to pay attention to what everyone else is doing and remembering that our part is not more important than someone else's. So we're going to show you some harmony in Jolly Old St. Nicholas.
right, our final, and I hate that this is our final number because it goes by so fast, but our final number is Jingle Bells, and we have kind of a special message hidden in Jingle Bells, um, but we want to thank you for coming out. The sixth grade band will be coming on next. We'll have just a brief uh, period of time when the sixth graders come out, fifth graders leave, and um, we hope you've enjoyed the concert tonight, and um, one thing I wanted to say really quickly, guys, your kids have been awesome to work with. They are... Uh, they're a special group, and uh, we have had a, a lot of fun, done a lot of hard work, but they are really very respectful kids, and you're, you're doing a great job raising them. So we hope you enjoy our final number, which is going to be Jingle Bells. All right, folks, quick changeover, and the sixth grade band will be here shortly.
Okay, since the TV timeout is over, we are going to begin the sixth grade band portion of the program, and we've got three songs prepared for you. The first one, um, you're going to hear us play in two different keys, and so we're going to practice two of the scales we've been working on, and the sixth grade band, uh, sixth grade band, how many of you are playing for the first time in band this year? You were not in band before. All right. Now, these are all folks that are brand new to band. Everyone else has been playing for a year. These students just joined band this year. So they've had to basically cram a whole year of learning into a few short months. So uh, I am very proud. The veterans that played last year came beside the new kids and helped them out, helped get them caught up. Um, everyone has been working very, very hard. But this first song is a very difficult song. Uh, but it's a very exciting song, and it plays in two different keys and has a lot of very intricate things that, um, that really challenge the kids. But they have risen to the challenge, and we hope you enjoy our, enjoy our first song, which is called Christmas Treat.
I didn't want to freak the kids out by saying this, but that first number was very, very difficult with the tempo changes and the retardando slowing down. Uh, very, very challenging, but awesome job, guys. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. So our next number, Little Drummer Boy, is going to feature the clarinets and trumpets and for a little while as well the um, saxophones and flutes and pretty much everyone gets to take a turn uh, being featured in this number. So we hope you enjoy Little Drummer Boy. I'm going to talk fast so I can make it very brief. Our last number is Sleigh Ride, which we do every year, but it's such a fun song and everyone loves to do it. Uh, so we've got to do it every year. But uh, I just want to tell you how proud I am of your kids, grandkids, neighbors, friends. Uh, they are so much fun to work with and uh, they've been really working their tails off. And I have a neat perspective. I've taught at the elementary, middle school, high school, and college levels, and I've got to see the whole progression of beginning through college. And uh, as I was rehearsing with the kids today, I didn't tell them this, but I remembered when I taught high school, pretty much every concert, and th those of you that were in band, uh, especially in high school, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. I would look back as I was conducting the kids, and there would be tears streaming down their faces, they would talk about getting goosebumps because when you experience beautiful music together that you've worked so hard to make perfect and the music is so beautiful and you've, you've done it all together, uh, I remember seeing, I, I had a football player that played trombone and he was crying because he said, that was so awesome. I, I've just been part of something so awesome. And they have been working so hard and I know that they're gonna have those same goosebump and tear down the cheek moments uh, as they get older and uh, they I'm just so proud of them and thank you guys for sending great kids and supporting them they really they're great people most importantly but also great musicians so we're going to leave you tonight with Sleigh Ride and we hope you enjoy it and everyone have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 
and have a safe ride home and stop and get your kids ice cream. Jolly Christmas. Have a holy, jolly Christmas. 
Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas, and when you walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. Good evening. I am Mrs. Weitzel, the chorus and music teacher at Southmoreland Elementary and Primary Centers. It has been my pleasure to work with your children for the last few months, and in those few short months, they have really worked hard to come together as a team to perform some great songs for you this evening. Our next song is going to be introduced by chorus member Abigail Warren. Rushing Trika is a spirited Russian folk song. This piece describes the thrill of riding swiftly over the snow-covered countryside in the Trika. A sleigh pulled by three horses wearing harnesses with bells. In the summer, wheels would be added and the excitement would continue. Rushing Trika, Trika, rushing Trika, dashing dust is rising from the ground. Riding, riding, riding fast, see my own true love at last.
song. The chorus will tell you the Christmas story with a re reggae flair. Long ago in the night while the shepherds them, they all had a fright. Star stars shine as bright as day. It come to show where sweet Mary lay. Some of the high school band percussionists will be joining us on the song. Thank you. Before we perform our last selection, I want to thank our accompanist this evening, Mr. DeBrock, 
and the high school percussionists for helping us sound great. Thank you guys very much. Also, thank you parents for being supportive of our school's music programs and for allowing your child to be a part of this group and or the band. Being a part of a group like this really teaches the students teamwork, leadership, perseverance, and self-motivation too. For our final song, Isabella Grabiak will introduce, and the song is a favorite of this group, I think. Thank you again, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Turn up the heat, make it steamy and sweet. Turn up the heat, make it steamy and sweet with marshmallows on the top. This Latin salsa style song celebrates everyone's favorite treat, hot chocolate. Listen for three part spoken rhythms and watch for our cop coffee cup movements. Enjoy. Again, thank you very much, and we all hope you have a very Merry Christmas! Bye. Have a good evening. <laughs>